Want to speak real Vietnamese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at VietnamesePod101.com. Hello everyone, welcome back to Vietnamese Pod 101. My name is Linh. Uh, xin chào các bạn, tôi là Linh. Rất vui được gặp lại các bạn ngày hôm nay. Um, okay, so uh, I don't know, but uh, a lot of people ask me to do a video about um, how to flirt someone in Vietnamese. Uh, I wouldn't say flirt because it sounds so uh, a little bit over. So I would say how to uh, make friends or how to ask um, uh, someone to go out or how to um, say something that make the other person feel like you have a feeling for them. Okay, so actually there are plenty of ways to say it in Vietnamese because um, Vietnamese is not like English. We don't have the same specific uh, sentence to speak to someone else. So instead, each person will have a very different way to express their opinion or their feeling. But still, there are some very common or very famous sentences which are so popular on TV or social network. So because of that, today I'd like to talk about 10 sentences that you may uh, you may need or it may be helpful for you when you want to show someone that you like them. Okay? So now let's let's start. Okay, number one I like to say is uh em đẹp lắm or em xinh lắm. So that means you are very beautiful or you are very pretty. So that is slightly different. It's normally we would say, ah, oh, Miss Vietnam this year is very beautiful. So that in that sentence, in that situation, we would say uh, đẹp because that means she's uh, physically and mentally beautiful. So we say đẹp. But in general, if someone is looking good and, and she's cute or she's pretty, so you can say uh, em xinh lắm. Okay, so let's practice. Em đẹp lắm. Em đẹp lắm. Em xinh lắm. Em xinh lắm. Okay, so please notice a little bit about the tone mark because it will uh, decide your pronunciation. It will decide how good your pronunciation is. So uh, if the tone mark is going up and you have to say a little bit stronger and a little bit sharp, but if the tone mark going, is going down, so you should say it gently and try to bend the voice or the sound a little bit down. Okay, so again, em đẹp lắm. Em đẹp lắm. Em xinh lắm. Em xinh lắm. Okay, so if you want to give compliment to a woman for the first time or just for a few time after you met, you can just easily say oh, em đẹp lắm or em xinh lắm because everybody wants to hear that, right? Okay, so that is the very best way to, to, um, to start a conversation or to, to talk with someone else that you haven't met before. Alright, number two, uh, if you want to give compliment but in in, uh, in an indirect way, uh, you can just say Anh thích của em So, for example, Anh thích nụ cười của em I like your smile Anh thích nụ cười của em Anh thích nụ cười của em or instead of using nụ cười, you can use another noun like um, Anh thích mùi nước hoa của em I like your perfume Or uh, Anh thích đôi mắt của em I like your eyes So uh, remember one more time I'm here is for you, for, for men, okay? Talking with a woman And em is uh, the word that you, we use for a woman who is younger than you So if you are a man, you can just say Anh thích nụ cười của em but if you are a woman, then you must say Em thích nụ cười của anh Okay? 
Alright, so I really like when someone say that they like something about me because uh, it means they really care about me and they, they notice small things on my, my face or on my appearance. So that that's that's why I feel really, really good. And if someone just keep giving you compliment like that every day, then I think that they have something for you. They have some feeling for you, isn't it? Okay, so now after giving compliment, uh, what will you do? Uh, would you like to ask her to go out or would you like to ask her for a movie? So you can say in Vietnamese, Em có thích đi xem phim không? Em có thích đi xem phim không? Em có thích đi xem phim không? Okay, so this means, uh, do you like to go out for a movie? If you are a man, then you can say like that. But don't worry. Uh, if you're a woman, you can say, anh có thích đi xem phim không? Okay. So this one you can use to ask someone to go out with you. And instead of using đi xem phim, uh, you can use something else like uh, đi chơi. Em có thích đi chơi không? Uh, đi du lịch. Em có thích đi du lịch không? Okay. And after that, if they say yes. Vâng, of course, then you can keep asking or keep planning. It's like, em có thích đi xem phim không? À, có. À, vậy thì tối mai em có rảnh không? Tối mai em có rảnh không? Like, that means, uh, so are you free tomorrow night? Okay, so let's practice. Em có thích đi xem phim không? Um, cũng có. Vậy thì tối mai em có rảnh không? Um, okay. Alright, number four, I'd like to share something that's very, very popular recently is because this is a name of a song uh, and uh, actually we hear it everywhere in Vietnam. Uh, this is uh, a song talking about a girl who is, um, uh, who have, who is having a crush on a man and he, she keeps asking, uh, where is your house? Uh, why are you just running around my mind or my heart all the time? So this song's name is Anh nhà ở đâu thế? Anh nhà ở đâu thế? Anh nhà ở đâu thế? That means uh, where is your house? But actually in Vietnamese the word nhà there is another meaning means uh, my husband or my wife nhà tôi means my husband or my wife. So, so I think it's really smart to use this word because uh, it will be two meanings. First, anh nhà đâu thế means where is your house. And number two, anh nhà đâu thế means uh, uh, where is my husband. So that's literally means uh, mm, they're having uh, some feeling for each other. So if you use this one, if you ask this one to a man, anh nhà đâu thế, that means you really like him and you want to know where he lives. Or if you post something on Facebook, anh nhà đâu thế, and you post a picture of a man, then it will be like, uh, you like this guy. Okay? So, anh nhà đâu thế. Alright, number five, I'd like to share a short conversation. So, for example, um, anh thích chó hay thích mèo? Anh thích mèo. Còn em thì thích anh. Okay, so that means uh, uh, do you like cats or dogs? And the other one says, uh, I like cats. And then I would say, and I'd like you. Just like that. So um, recently, this one is a little bit popular, but I think for young people only because it sounds so childish. But it's cute, it's cute actually, it's, it's not really uh, over or something, okay? So if you, uh, if you ask someone like, um, what do you like? Dogs or cats? Uh, I like dogs, okay, uh, and I like you. That is very cute and very lovely, and if, if someone asked me like that, I would laugh immediately. But I would say that he's very cute to say that, okay? So try again. Uh, anh thích chó hay thích mèo? Anh thích mèo, còn em thì thích anh.
Okay, next one I want to share something that you can post on Facebook. Um, uh, I don't really know how to explain because it's really hard. Okay, so for example, if you like someone and you really really like his eyes um, and you want to share something um, on Facebook but you don't really mention uh, the man, then you can say Uống nhầm một ánh mắt, cơn say theo cả đời Uống nhầm một ánh mắt, cơn say theo cả đời so it's like uh, you fall in love with his eyes and you were you are drunk forever something like that okay it's, it's like uh, you drink something and you get drunk and something here is his eyes okay so actually this one we don't really say directly to the person that we like but you can post it on Facebook and then if the person reads it then maybe or um, he will text you or he will ask you to ask about the status so um nhầm một ánh mắt cơn say theo cả đời okay number seven um cuộc sống là một vòng tròn trốn mà không kỹ là còn gặp anh cuộc sống là một vòng tròn trốn mà không kỹ là còn gặp anh okay so um actually this one uh, i cannot translate because this is like a poem and it has the rhythm so if you want to understand in english that means uh, life is a circle and if you don't hide carefully you still see me okay so um this one you can use it on facebook or social network as well because uh, when you say it out uh, with someone that you like is a little bit long and um, uh, it's just too much it's just too over to express that to someone um, unless you were very very close together and you want to make the other person laugh in a positive way okay so this one you can post on on your social network and um, uh, if you want to tell someone indirectly, then you can say that, and it sounds very cute. Okay, next one I'd like to share is if you want to send a heart to someone, like you want to send heart for his status, or you want to send a heart for his video or his picture, then you can say ta ti ta. Tìm, that means you draw a heart. Thả tìm. Okay, so this one is very easy and very common. You can say anywhere, you can write anywhere and with anyone or in any situations. Is It means you love what they say or you like what they what they show or you like what they post. That's it. Thả tìm. Thả tìm. Okay, um, so it's been a while, you, you gave compliment to the person, you asked them out and you, you, you send love and heart and now maybe, maybe you are together already. So if you travel together, you can post something on Facebook. Uh, it could be a picture of yours, it could be um, a video and if you want to say something like you are traveling you can say đưa nhau đi trốn đưa nhau đi trốn so that means you are hiding together it's like urban getaway đưa nhau đi trốn so this is uh, the name of a song of a very famous song recently that means uh, two people to uh, a, a couple they travel and uh, they want to get out of the city and, and everything so it's like they are hiding somewhere in the middle of nowhere okay so đưa nhau đi trốn okay so I think I will stop here because I've shared quite much and I'm not sure if you guys can apply it immediately but just spend a little bit time in every sentences and to to know where exactly you can use it because this is not really nice if you use it uh, in the wrong situation or in uh, a not suitable case okay so um 
there is something that you can say directly to the person, but there is something that is better if you write it down, because um, in Vietnamese, we don't really share um, our our feeling directly. It just like maybe now it's more open minded, but I don't know. Maybe we, I'm too old for that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how young people show their feeling nowadays because for me, I would prefer some things like actions. So, but still, if you hear something like this, it will be very, very nice, and they will, they will uh, give yourself like a happy day. Who knows, right? Okay, so I hope that you will uh, like the video and you, you find it useful. You can use it immediately and let me know if you have any questions or if you want to suggest any topics, just let me know. Okay, thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next one. Xin chào và hẹn gặp lại.